Good morning, folks. Welcome to another day in the Butler household. You know, we've just come back from Scotland and uh, we had a bit of a flood, Sharon, didn't we? We did. What happened? As we see, we have a vacant space for a dishwasher. Yeah. So we had a swimming pool yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's there, folks. We've had to order that straight away, which should be here today, Sharon. Which I can recommend this company to people. Mark's Electrical. They're no dearer than Curry's or anywhere else. Yeah. It's always guaranteed next day and it's should be here you get a track in it should be knocking on my door at 9 30. mark's electrical very good service yeah so that's, that's what, the second thing i've heard from there that's what we're waiting for and uh we've been using our coffee machine show isn't it yeah, look just, just oh she's doing it now look we absolutely love this I people i've got a white one she, she wants to show people yeah the white other one's one. got white sides on it but uh i have the white frother yeah we love that oh no look at that show look what's the matter with that he's gonna check the fuse for me why is it not coming on yeah, if not, let's go into the tip. Oh, I like a lava lamp. I know, that's why I said check the fuse. Right, so we've got lots to do, people. Um, I've got to do a review on a bike, which involves doing some cooking outside as well. Oh, let's come out here for a minute. I want to start getting the gar garden sorted out as well. Um, the grass has got to be cut. It's not been cut, obviously, for since probably November last year, I suppose. So uh, that's got to be done. I've got to get all this patio jet washed as well so that's uh, another job i think jimmy's got his mate to come around with a power washer who's going to do all that for us but uh yeah spring is in the air garden's in a bit of a mess i want to get all this cleared up and get that fence painted over there we've got a couple of uh, boxes to go over there from a subscriber little tip boxes so loads to do how many tracing Three thousand two hundred fifty. Thank you, people, for joining. With and those that haven't subscribed, she's on the phone now. Subscribe, please. Three thousand two hundred fifty subscribers. That's unheard of in a day, just yeah. over a day, two days, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, they're going to be doing obviously more videos. So they've really stood. I've never known no one to get so many subscribers, Sharon, in such a short time. Thank you to all our Butler's Empire viewers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway. That's their first video. So shout out, thank you to you all that have gone across to her as well. Yeah. And well, well done, done to the person that spotted me losing the little mic muff. Well done. Yeah, we lost that. We have our little clip on mics on the on the like when we're out and about, so we you can hear us talking can when we're not standing right next to the camera. And uh, we found out at the train station that I looked on her mic and a little wind muff had gone. And uh, we looked through the video when we got back home and we saw it actually fall off in the camera. So he wants, he, he wants my attention, look. He wants my attention, look at him, look. He does this all the time to me, doesn't he? Look. She, she Tracy just said he actually wants to chew on your chicken legs Do you want now. to chew? <laughs> he wants to chew, let's give him a chew, look, come here. Come here, let's get their chews out. Come out the way. They love these, look. You've got to thank your subscribers for these. Yeah. Right, so that's that, folks. Well, we'll come back to you very shortly. We're just waiting for that to be picked up. They're going to take the old one away there as well. That's got to disappear. That's outside at the moment, waiting for it to come. So I'll put that in, and then we're probably going to just go down and have a little cheeky breakfast at the Ragged Apron again. Don't know whether you're going to come along from that, because we only done one yesterday. So uh, we'll see you in a minute. Right, you found the cars, Frank. Look, Mummy, look, that's the cars that the subscribers bought. Put them in there, Mummy. Frank, look. Oh, wow. Are they all for Frank? Who's that? Mater. Who's Mater, who's that? Fire truck. Fire truck. That one? Um, Mama. Ramirez. That one? I don't. Who's that one? I don't. Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm. And that look one? at all these, look. Look, Frank. Lucky boy. Do you like all these? Are they for Frank? Are they for Frank? No. Yeah, come on then. Look, Mummy. Wow. New Many cars for cars. Frank, look. Scooby Doo cars. Wow. Yeah. Line them all up. Line them all up, Frank. You've got so many cars now, haven't you? <laughs> Say thank you, people. Thank you, Papa. Good boy. <laughs> Good morning, folks. You join me in the garden at the moment. It's not actually too cold out here today. It looks like it could rain, 
And uh, I was going to cut the rest of the grass today, but I've managed to do half of it, which is a bit boggy, as you can see, but I've done this half, and I had to stop here because I filled up the waste bin over there. That's our green bin, which we get delivered or recycled every, I think it's two weeks, I'm not sure yet, but uh, I've still got all that lot to do. So I thought we'd uh, go out for some uh, roadside cooking again. Hold on, here she comes. She's only just heard me say that. Oh dear, you've just heard me say that, haven't you? Yes, I have. I'm not very happy. Why not, baby? Because I don't like it. And you lot keep asking for it. So thank you very much. I'm now having to do it. But just think of it, out in the wild, with a lovely camp here. I'll tell you what, uh, I'm going to cook something. And we're going to make it a little bit easier for today. What jumper you got on? I don't want to burn another hole in your jumper, Sharon. I'm going to take the induction hob out of us today and our battery pack, what we uh, done a little review on. It'll be a lot safer for you, Sharon. There's no chance of you catching fire. Well, I hope not anyway. I don't really enjoy eating out like that, people. I'm willing to do the camping Shout, after the then. last time you did it, it was three or two degrees. It's now... Damp. Virtually summer. Damp. Right, let's get down to these coast meats, find out something to cook up, get the gear in the car, and off we go on our travels, baby. See you in a minute. Right, baby, we're in the car. The world is our oyster. It has been raining. But we're expecting a parcel today from DPD. And the trouble is, we've got no indication as to when it's coming. Jimmy and Charlotte are going out, so we're a little bit stranded. So we're going to go for it, shall Because we look at what's the worst that can happen. It'll get re-delivered tomorrow. And we know we hopefully should be in tomorrow. We will be. It's Sunday. I don't like going out on exactly. Sunday. Exactly. So we'll take the drive to East Coast Meets. We've got all the gear in the back. No idea. I'm fully aware, shall of what we're up to. Yeah, and I'm sitting in the car. Looks like I'm going to have to get the table around there again then, didn't I? So I've yeah. got to find somewhere to park the car. But this time, I'm going to take the seatbelt off, people. And it might be a lay-by, and this time, shout, I won't forget to shut all the doors. Okay? <laughs> not so bad today. It's not blinking one degrees, is it? Let's get down these coast mate, meets and see what we're going to have for lunch. See you in a minute. East Coast mates, in we go then baby, come on. Let's stop my car up. Not that it's gonna get nicked here, shall we? He wouldn't charge me six to six pounds for a small piece of road rib. <laughs> no, probably not. In we go. Right. Hello. Hiya folks. Shout out to one six six baby. Yeah, I'll get in a minute. Oh okay. Right, what are you looking at? Stop here for next week, huh? Look at that. What's that? It's a Ribeye joint. Yeah, they cut them up for us, don't they? Our we've had that before, and we've had that. We bought them one of them, folks. It's actually cheaper to do it. Like and that. we've cut the ribeye steaks up separate, but uh, very, very nice. Yeah, look, that's on. nice. I ain't seen one of them for ages. Showing a T bone, look. Hmm. They're a nice size, aren't they? In fact, they're massive. Them T bones, aren't they? And we've got them tomahawk steaks down there, folks. Look at them. Look, they're lovely. Here, yeah, shout. He was just saying about that rolled rib. Yeah, just Shrunk up to nothing, didn't it? You said we wouldn't get that here, would we? No, we wouldn't. <laughs> no, only good stuff here, mate. That's right, yeah. Look at them, look, they're a nice size, them rump steaks there, shall Look at them, look. I don't like rump. No, I know, I'm just saying. Look at the fat on them T-bones, they're lovely, look at that, look. Aren't they fantastic? So what are you going to have then, baby? I don't know what you're going to have. I don't know we're yet. We're doing a bit of roadside cooking, we're just trying to decide what yeah, to have. But, yeah, right. we're just having a little look around. Oh. Lovely double steak burgers there, folks, look at them, look. Sausage patties as well, they're lovely. I might have a bit of steak, maybe a bit of steak. We got that oh, you got pork. Oh, we got yeah, but I can eat two steaks a day. That's not a problem. You want a bit of tea bone, didn't you? No, it's too big. To have. Couldn't eat all that on the roadside, baby. I could. Well, get one if you want one. Oh, well, I might have a lamb chop. What lamb chop? We got there. Barnsley chop. Look, I've heard of them. Oh, they're too. They're doing me. Oh, isn't there? You go. A couple of Barnsley chops, baby. Don't you give me a barnsley chop, will you? No. Hey? What are you gonna have? Bacon chop? No, let's have a look in the uh, in a in the tray up here. Look. What about them? You put that for tea tonight. Yeah, I know, I know that. But you might as well get your tomahawk, the uh, your tea bone. Why well, like ribeye? Yeah, you got that for tea, haven't you? Oh, well, let's have a look over here. Then. Can't make her mind up. 
Oh no. Why I'm <laughs> Let's have a look. Look at them, they are nice though, look. Oh, yeah, it's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a go at that. I know, that's what, that's what I like about it. Yeah. Sharon, you've talked me into it, I'm going to have that one. Go on in. Is that it? Of course I am, I've got to. Got to, got to try it now, haven't I? Of course You've bigged it up. You've bigged it up, haven't you? <laughs> that's it for today, thanks. Yeah, that's all, yeah. Right, I'll leave her at the tilt to pay. <laughs> We're both buying it together, folks, don't we? Where'd I put my keys? Hold on. Right, I'm looking forward to that. I've never, I haven't had one in years. Yeah, it's a nice butcher, it's good meat. Of course it you is. You don't mind if it's good meat. I say, but isn't it funny how one butcher looks at another butcher's and said, how was your, your, your rib of yeah. beef or whatever what you had the other day? Was, they told him it was brisket. The people that have come in to see him have obviously told them about it as well. Yeah, and then they've gone and watched it. Yeah. Shrunk up to nothing, didn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, Sharon. A few people have said, listen to this one, it was Ben's fault because he had the bleating gas up too high. Well, yeah, it should have, could have been better slow cooked. Yeah. It shrunk up. I, thought, I, I can blame Ben for that yeah, one, we Sharon. Blame ben. There you go. Ben uh, Clifford. But they always do their joints like that anyway, I don't know, they? I know, but so. he didn't pay for that one, Shell, did he? No. Anyway, come on, let's go and find somewhere. We've got somewhere nice to take you today, folks. I've never been there before. Sharon found it. It's only round the... Well, not round the corner, is it? Well, I don't know if you can... There's a car park. I don't, well, well, that's I where might, we're going. We might have to find a lay-by and do Oh, this. not another lay-by, Shell. Oh. <laughs> come on, let's get going. Well, here we are, baby. We're here. We're here. Secret destination. And it's another lay-by. You like a lay-by, don't but you? But today's temperature, folks, is 12 degrees. So we're a lot warmer today. And there's no wind. So let's get set up, get the gear out, get the food on. Because, Sharon, I'm starving. Or, what? should we have our little walk first to where we are? Then no, no, in? no. I want a big, warm belly of food inside me before we go out there. In that cold. It's 12 degrees. Right, let's get going. I'm making her get out of the car, folks. She was a little bit dubious. She, she thought that she was going to sit in there and let me do everything, including I'm filming as well. Eh? I'm not cooking. Yeah, well, we... It's like we, barbecue. It's a man thing. We've got, we got to decide where we're going to be doing it for the simple reason being I'm going to have to sit the uh, power bank on the floor and I'm not sure whether or not the uh, lead for the hob is high enough to get to the table. If not, we'll have to do it here. You'd be all right on the grass there. What do you mean? I think it... Uh, well, get the table out. Unfold the legs, baby. We'll have to see how long the lead is on the... Um... Oh, look at that. What? Oh, my God. That's the one we don't tread in that, Sharon. Trust me to park here. Right, just put that there for a minute. Right, you hold this. Got to open my door first as well, don't I? Mind that poo. Mind that poo, look. <laughs> places we could have gone we've gone where there's a pile of poo Sharon I suppose I could reverse up a bit couldn't I we should go forward a bit why forward there's a big puddle there well there's puddles oh, that right. way move that table shut the door shut the door don't put it near the poo well Stay I there. know that shut the door baby don't have to tell me the obvious I'm not telling you the obvious Shell right drive forward right I can't do two things at once Shell typical isn't it out of all the places along there I could have parked Right, that should be all right now. So, Let's... right, you see if you can get in there. Yeah, I can get in. I can sit like that, can't I? Well, there's I? no reason why I can't put it on the table, can I? We'll see. Hold that for a minute. <clears throat> Let me just put it down there for the... Where's the sockets? That side. Let me put that there for a minute. Right. Right. Here's a little hob, folks, in the bag. I was... Oh, I think it's going to be long enough, isn't it? Yeah, it's plenty long enough. Let me put it. Oh, God, I didn't realise. Oh, you're all right. You can get in the car then. Oh, so I'll will. spin that round the other way. Just plug it in. Down there, baby. Look. Oh, it's the wrong side. Turn it round. Just tip it in. Got three 13 amp sockets down there. We could use. Stick that there. I'm just going to turn it on. Look. All you do, you press the on button. 
Now I've not touched this at all since the last time we cooked with this. Two, and it's still at 90%. It's 90% still, which is exactly what it was. So all we've got to do is turn on a little button at the side there. That powers on the induction hob. Oh, go on, Lily, bring poke myself in the eye with that, Tracy. Look, Sharon, look. Oh. oh, sorry, I forgot my suck of tears. If I would have gone a little bit further forward, that wouldn't have been hanging over well. <laughs> Let's just put that over there, hold on. Oh, it's getting cold. Oh, don't say that, Sharon. All right, I've got my rucksack. Okay, it's all here now. I've packed everything. This is what we got, folks. Wet wipes. We didn't have them last time, Sharon, did we? No. Bottle of water for my coffee. Frying pan. Two plates. Look at this. You're going to be surprised with this. Look. We got our new electric salt and peppers that I brought them with us as well, Sha. Fantastic. They're very good. They are good. We've used them already, haven't we? Yeah, we like them. All right, let's so get that you. pots and pans out. And you laughed at this the last time, people. Look, you laughed at that, didn't you? My little spatula. Pretty screw it, Frank. Well, I've you learned, do. and I, Sharon, I've learned. Right, we've got that there. We get them in case we've got a headache. Or frostbite. Or fr <laughs> All right, let's open that up. Hold on. What have we got here? We've got knives and forks each. Don't take long to set up. It's all in this little bag, look. We've got a bag for the dirty plates, if we don't bother cleaning them. And a little drop of olive oil there. All right, that's it. I'm ready to go, baby. Oh, hold on. Oh, we had coffee in there, look. Ah, uh, see? There I bought go. a jar of coffee, but we've got salt, pepper, ketchup, brown sauce, and coffee as well. The only so thing we're lacking is a heater. Shell, you won't need it, love, because this time I'm not going to leave all the doors open. Yeah, shut that booth. Let stuff. me put these back over here, Sharon. I'm shutting my door. All right, that's that. Now, I don't think I'm going to need my chair. No, just put the boot down. No, I will sit down, maybe. You can sit down and cook. You like that? Yeah, well, you? I like that. Yeah, but the trouble with these chairs is, Sharon, they lean back a little bit too far. When I, I'm, I'm sort of at arm's length all the time, you know? Hold on, wait there. Little drink for you. You wanted a fruit shoot, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. We've got There's everything no toilets here, here. See, can't have a hot drink or anything. I'll have to sip. Oh, we've also got that if we need it. I'll stick that in there with you, Sharon. Because, not that it can catch fire, because you won't get a fire with no, not induction helping. hob. Shut that down, because you don't want to get cold. Right, where's the food? Well, if you take that, I can get the food. Right, we've just been down, as you saw, to the uh, east coast. You having eggs? Oh, of course I'm going to have eggs, shall. Steak and egg, mate, that's where it goes. I look at... How look. Can, what? I hope our knife cuts through that. Well, we've got the metal knife, Sharon, yeah, haven't we? I'm hoping it'll cut through. They're not the greatest, are Look they? at that T-bone. Look at the size of that, folks. And she's got the old look, yeah, look. Barnsley chop. <laughs> Two Barnsley oh. chops. I presume they're lamb, Sharon. Of course they are. There you go. Right, so we've powered up, shall we? We've powered up. Let's, let's get ready. Right, Barnsley chops, they can go over there. Now, I'm hoping we've got our knives in here. Because we haven't checked these, have we? Yeah, I've done it. Did you? No, I'll put it all back. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm, ju I'm just going to get the, uh, this on first, yeah? So, low, on. How do you operate it? Menu, 1600 watts. I'll put it on 1400 watts. Okay, just do that. Come over to here, yeah? Just put a drop of olive oil in there, just to get things going, look. Shouldn't need it, this is a brand new pan, this Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's get your... Um, I'll get the steak on first, I think, because that's the biggest, isn't it, if I can get it open. Yeah, easy. No problem whatsoever. That's a monster. Yeah, it's getting hot, folks. It's Could getting hot. cooking on gas. Hey? Oh, it's 1,400 not watts. cooking on gas, I said. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine, shall we? We're doing fine. Well, get it in, then. Hold on, hold on. Get it, eat up a little bit. Right, come near us, shall we? Look at the size of that, people, look. What a monster. Well, it's big, isn't it? Come on, come on. <laughs> I didn't realise how thick it was. Yeah, I know, that's what I said. Look at the girth of that, look. That looks nice. Jonathan likes that word, shall girth. Look at that. Can you open your Barnsley chop, shall? That does look like, nice. I'd like to see you get involved, Sharon. Barnsley chop, that's only a bit of a silicone. Cellophane? Cling film. Cling film, rather. They're a nice size and all, Sharon. 
They won't shrink. Not from my butchers. No, we, we, we don't put them on at 200 degrees like Ben done with our blinking stuff. Can you put that in our little waste bag, shall Hang on a minute and wipe me hands. Yep. There you go. Where's that butcher's bag? That, that'll do. Get that on, shall Gosh, it drop that in there. Lovely little lay-by, shall I? Take you to all the best places. Shame there's no toilets. Yeah. Can you tell me what the uh, wattage is on that? How are we down to? 1395. No, what's the um, power? 87%. Oh, 87%. We've got loads, shall This will cook that in no time. We've got 62 minutes. Yeah, it might take an hour, shall If it does, I ain't coming to this cafe hey? anymore. Don't you hour. worry about it, Sharon. Look, these are what our subscriber bought us. Come here, look at this. Look, watch. This is the thick salt in that. Look, the, uh, what's it Rock called? Salt. Rock salt. Ready, look. <laughs> Look at that. All over them Barnsley chops, shall I? look. That's enough for me. Yeah. Bit of the old black pepper, look. Watch ya. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's not away. I know. You should pull it down a bit lower. I know. I don't want to get the steam on it, shall because it's too much steam on it. Up there. Makes it all sticky, you see. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Got me egg sorting out. Barnsley chops, look at that. Come near it, baby. That's it, mind that steam though. Come from this side. That's better. Shall we flip them, shall we? If you want. I don't think they're ready yet. But... Well, no, they're nowhere near ready. Oh, look. Look at the sear on that, Sharon. Let's flip your Barnsley chops. Yeah, they're getting there. Right, while we've got that side going, let's put a bit of seasoning on them, this side now. Oh, that, that looks absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what, Shell, to be honest with you, we're cooking in no time, aren't we? We're up and cooking in no time, really. One duffel bag and a bag, a little bag of shopping, a bit of meat that we bought. Superb. Lovely. You can't beat it, folks. <laughs> cooking on gas. You know you're cooking on electric. You know what I mean. I could do, because I've still got the gas burner in the boot. Yeah, I, but could, I could get the little pan on. No. And make the... Um, That's our jumpers to get the satellite. We're lucky that there's no wind, Sharon. So I like a little poke, you see. Right, let's cook these down a bit more, folks, and we'll come back to you. Give that another turnover. Oh, get under there. Cool, it's not far. I'll write a turnover, Sharon. I think so. It's heavy, isn't it? Look at it. Smells Bar good. Barnsley chops. This is a marvellous little single induction of this, folks. Absolutely fantastic. There's not much to go on it, I don't think. I like to um, just stick a knife or a fork in the cut of meat and just see what comes to the surface like blood wise or whatever it's not blood eh? it's not blood it's plasma in it or something i know who gets hold yeah but whenever blood. people ask for a steak in america they say oh, i like it bloody so people know what you mean they're just being panicky when they say it's not blood it's plasma oh hello who's he pulling over here Someone's pulling over in our bleating lay by Sharon. <laughs> Come to place an order. Come to place an order. <laughs> yeah, mine's cooking really fast. Right, okay folks, I'm gonna get mine out. I think mine's actually done before Sharon's. 
Because she's got bigger bones in her one, Shao, haven't you? Oh, yeah, big bones. Look at that. C come near, Shao. Look at that. Don't matter how far back I am, Martin. I ain't going to miss that. <laughs> well, let's put that down there for a minute. That's more. Just let that rest for a minute. Just get your old Barnsley chops to do around the edges a bit more. And I'm going to crack my egg in, I think, Sharon. No, do you want okay. egg? No, I don't want egg. Let's have a little go. Right, one or two eggs, I'm not too sure yet. One's enough for that size steak, love. Right, okay, in we go. Come over here, Sharon. Let's get that in there. Let's get that in there. Don't know where the rubbish is. Right, get the old Barnsley chops cooking around the edge. They're looking good, Sharon, aren't they? Mm. Now, this is a non-stick pan, people. And I don't mind the meat juices on it, to be honest with you. Oh, hello, what's that thrown on me? That's only rain. <laughs> no, it was like an like, like acorn or something. Oh. There's no acorn trees here, though, Sharon. There's the odd berry on that I'll one. tell you what, though, you seem a lot happier this time around than the first time we've done it. I'm not sitting in the wind tunnel this time. No, I? I've shut all the doors for well, you. I think I might invest in putting a blanket in the car yeah. for my legs. Let's have a look at this egg. Look, look. Is the pan all right, Charlotte? Is it a good one? Non stick? Yeah, it looks right. Like looks it. Well, I think your Barnsley chops are just about done, Sharon. Do yeah, well, I'll wait because I want to eat it hot. Well, it's hot now, baby. Yeah, but you're going to put your egg on, so I'll leave them in there cooking. Okay. You don't mind it a little bit well done, do you? No, anyway? I like it a bit crunchy. I wonder why they call them Barnsley chops. I don't know. Unusual, isn't it? Oh, that's well done, Shell. Look at that, look. Tell you what, while that's like that, I'm just going to um, season mine up again. There we go. And a bit of black pepper. These are great. These come from Timu. Someone bought us for these. Yeah. We don't know who it was, but whoever you were, thank you very much. We do love them. Right, now I've done that. I'm going to flip that eggshell. Get ready, baby. Oh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I'm going to take that down to 1,000 now. I think your Barnsley chops are done, Sharon. Really? I don't want to break the yolk, you see. Ready? Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that. I give you roadside T-bone steak with a fried egg on the top, folks. Superb. Sharon, Barnsley chop. Power off. Here we go. Let's dish these up for you. You ready? Yeah. Oh, hello. Look at that, shall. Look for a bouncy chop, look. Go on and get them both on there. Look at that. Roadside cooking, Barnsley chops, T-bone steak and a fried egg, induction knob, little power bank. You can't beat it, folks. We're going to tuck into these now, see what they're like. Right, baby. What you need is a little tabletop now, isn't it? Oh, look at them Barnsley chops. Get that bit of fowl, go on. Looks all right to me. Well? Lovely. Is it lovely? I love lamb. Mm. Do you want a bit of seasoning on it or are you all right? Got enough seasoning on it. Yep. Are you happy with it? Yeah, I'm going to let you tuck into yours while it's hot. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it over there for now. Just let that cool down on the floor like that. This is a fantastic little thing, folks. Look at that, look. Whack that down on there. Power bank can go off. There we go, we've had two cooking sessions on that, shall not we? Mm. And that's 65% power left on that. Let's have a go at this Barnsley chop. No, this is a T-bone steak. steak. Come right near, shall Not the best of knives, I know, but... Forgive me for how I'm holding my fork, apparently, because I hold it wrong, folks. Oh, what does it matter? No, it don't matter, shall does it? You've got nothing nice to say. Don't, don't say, say it. it. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Look at this egg shell. Ready? <laughs> That's the money shot right there, Sharon. Right. We're going to eat these, folks. I'll do a cup of tea afterwards and then we'll come back to you. See you in a minute.
two Barnsley chops, done. <laughs> One T-bone steak, also done. Be honest, how was that? It was very nice. Cooked all right? Perfect. Didn't take too long to cook either, did it? It didn't actually, no. About the same time as being at home. And a lot quicker than the gas bottles, isn't it? God, I'd have had a fire. <laughs> no jumpers on fire today, no. baby. As we've been sitting here, like we get, we, we've seen a few cars come past here, and when they, by the time they got to there, there, they were looking out the window. <laughs> right, that's that done. So we're going to take all this rubbish, even though there is a, a bin over there, we're not going to leave these bones and stuff out because you get loads of rats and foxes in the bins or whatever, we take them home with us. So as they say, Sharon, leave no trace. Yes. Now we can go in there, we can wash that up at home, can't we? Yep. We've got a bag for that, have we? So while we're doing that, I'm going to bring that induction hob back on the table. You can't just switch that power on for it, shall can you? Oh yeah, I can see the, the big button. Here. Keep your finger on it and it'll stay, it'll come on. Did you fart then? No, it's getting out of the chair. You on? It's 65%. I've actually made you move out your seat, shall I? I'm not happy about that. Now I've got our little camping stove containers here, which should have a little saucepan in it with a lid on, Sharon. Hey, look, we don't need them anymore, Shay, do we? Look, matches I'll in the lighter. I'll have them for home for my candle, thank you. Let's get that out of there. All the gear. No idea. I've got all the ideas, Sharon. Have you? We're doing this now a lot more successfully, thanks to that little induction hob, than we did the last time. Yeah, hang on, is that induction hob? Oh, I don't know, I didn't think about that. No, I don't think that is. It's not a metal base, is it? It's a buttery biscuit base. Oh, no, it's not going to do it, is it? That's not induction on brute, is it? I've just thought about that now. Oh, well, you're having a glass of water. Oh, right, menu. Hold on. Oh, it's on. It's on, Shell. It's flat, it's bleeping, it's bleeping. Oh, power, no, it's not on, is oh. it? <sighs> Always make sure your cookware, folks, is microwave, not microwave, <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? Induction. I was really looking forward to a cup of coffee and all. Oh, God. Good job you like water, isn't it? We've got, I said to you indoors, didn't I? I was going to get the little saucepan out. I need a little one. I've got one about that big induction hub. And I said, no, I've got my camping ones. Of course, that's turned to crap now, isn't it? <sighs> oh, even your camping kettle. Hey? That little camping kettle we've got. That wouldn't have been that no good. That wouldn't have been no, no good either, no. So we have got one. So, we have but got unfortunately. A we could have brought from home. Right. Let's turn that back off again. Oh, well. We've finished this. We're going to clear up here, folks. And then we'll take you to the little thing we're going to show you. So we'll see you in a minute. Well, we haven't had to go far from the car to get to our destination, Sharon. No, we haven't. If we just look around here. Welcome to Top Home Abbey. This is an historic abbey site, which we, well, I didn't know it was here. There are sheep grazing in here, apparently. You've got to shut the uh, gates. And you can do, actually, picnicking in here as well, Sharon. But uh, as you know, we prefer a lay-by. But uh, there's a bit of information over there. Let's go have a look at that, Sharon. <laughs> Very blowy today, folks. Well, it is. We get the drone up for you a bit later on so we can see from the air because it is very boggy. Right, so this is it. It's uh, the Abbey is one of only a few with standing remains of the original monastic buildings in addition to the archaeological remains below ground, Sharon. Oh, she and did it's get been a heritage. Spade. Eh? Get a spade. Heritage Lincolnshire purchased this site in 1988 and is preserving it for this ancient monument for future generations. And here it is over here, folks. I'll tell you what, shall we? Let's give them a look at it from the air. Yeah.
Well, we've just come in the perimeter fence, folks. There's a gate down there. There's no information on the board down there, but we're coming up here, shall we? We've just seen these. Mm. I wonder if they're just bits of rock. I don't think they're gravestones at all, no, are they? they? Look like they're too thick, aren't they, for gravestones? Yeah, they're probably part of the original build over there, I would imagine. But uh, we've got these little information boards here. That what? looks a newer one, doesn't yeah. it? What's this oh, sign? Yeah. Hold on, Shell. What's this say here first? Uh, dining area, wildlife garden, circular walk. So there's some sort of walk where you can go on down there. But uh, what you found here? There is a sign on this one. So this is what it possibly would have looked like. Yeah, this is just a, a call it an artist impression, so to speak. So what have we got here? Tulpan was founded around 1160 by an abbot and 12 canons of the. Oh, I can't say that. What's that? Prio. Prior Stratusian order. Stratuson. Were some they were sometimes known as the white cannons because they wore white habits and caps. And the stone for the abbey was probably transported to the site by means of a narrow canal which once linked Tuplome with the river Witham. The land was given by local lords Allen and Gilbert de Neville. As you will see, it's slightly elevated above its low lying surroundings. The name Tuplome means the island of the sheep. Tup is a country word for sheep and home is a Saxon word for a raised piece of land. There you go. Look, what we said about churches, look, here, that way we know is Kirkstead Abbey, that's where we live. Then right. you've got Stixwold's Priory, another abbey there, which is where we are now, Bardney Abbey, then Barley's there, all close together, aren't they? Well, you say that, Shay, you say they're close together, but look, there's nothing around. It makes yeah. you wonder why they would build an abbey when there was absolutely nothing else around the place. Look, very strange, I find that. Look at that, look. I know you've got these sort of farmers' cottages down there, but this, it's not like it's uh, in a city or no. a, 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 even a village even. But uh, anyway, let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Because we can actually walk all the way this around it. This was Martin, was one of the abbeys closed by Henry VIII in 1536. There you go. So that was about 400 years after it was created. It's like a sign I've got to go to Hampton Court Palace again, haven't I? Right. I don't know how wide this would have been, this abbey, Sharon, but... There seems to be some red brick construction here as well, as opposed to the... Yeah, but they lived here as well, didn't they? Yeah, but back in the 1100s, shall they wouldn't have had red bricks, what I'm saying to you. So part of this must have been later built, perhaps, I don't know. I'm walking around the back of it here. This looks like all original. So whether this part was built onto, there's like a, an outer sh uh, shed there or whatever. This is obviously the original build there, and them windows have been blocked up down there by modern brick, you could say. Look at this. Amazing. Do you think it's sunk down? I don't know, Sharon. There's a walkway up there. Whether this was a doorway, I'm not too sure. Or what, what that entrance would have been there, because it's quite low down. Yeah, so maybe fact is it sunk down? Not sure. But it's quite a... An unusual build, let's say. So let's come along here. And this part, again, is more modern brick. Up here. Like them bricks up there, look. Uh, so this is might have been living quarters or something. Could have been a kitchen. I don't know, sure. I'll just go and build the shelves. There's one of the shelves. Yeah, look, this is like a, the old wooden lintels above the uh, windows there, look. And the old shelves here, yeah, this could have been either a living room area or, like you say, a kitchen, but I can't mm. see any sign of a kitchen. What's that hole up there for there, look? It's blocked off. That would have been a beam, wouldn't it? It might have been a cross beam going in there. Oh, yeah, look, down to the other side there, look. This one I've made earlier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the end of the building. I don't think it would have had much footings there, Sharon, to be honest with you. It doesn't look to be much footings there. There's another sign there. Hey? Another sign, I suppose it's the same. Yeah, we'll have a look over there, but uh, now coming around to the front of the abbey, as you can see, the middle part is, is sort of very oldy worldy with different arches, Sharon, look. There's like oh. all different arches along there. And the main pit there, yeah, this part here is definitely a new build on, well, I say new, I don't know how new it was, but maybe 1500, something like that, because they had bricks like um, Henry VIII's Palace. Was, oh uh, yeah, it was red brick, isn't was, it? Uh, yeah, that is red brick. So yeah, this obviously dates back to probably the 1100s, and maybe this was uh, altered a little bit later on. 
All right, we just found this, folks. It's not very readable, but basically it lets us know what parts are what. So this bit here at the end, which we did say was probably 1500, it's actually 18th century. So that was added on there. And right in front of us there, you've got the Reader's Pulpit, the Cloister Stores up there as well. That is the actual rectory, this main part of the building there, which we're looking at. And that there is the original doorway to the Undercroft. That's that one in the middle over there, mm. right there. And these holes in the front there, as you can see, look, they're dotted all over the place there. You can see them there. That was to support the medieval scaffolding. How about that? That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? So, mm. yeah, definitely, definitely a very, very old building. What do you think of it, baby? Amazing, isn't it, really? Yeah. So it had been added on to. And I don't know whether it would have gone underground as well, but uh, definitely really fascinating. So the original part would be for the 1100s. And then that was added on in the 1800s. And all these years we've drove down that road down there, Sharon. I've always seen it. I thought I'm well, going to seen it. I've, never, I've, ne I've, I've never seen, seen it. I've seen it many a time. I've never seen it, Sharon. But uh, what a building. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, looking at it from this end elevation now, it looks like this building here would have been put there to support the original wall, which as you can probably see there, is actually leaning over and it's actually at the top there in contact with the, um, the original wall. If that building wasn't there, I think that would obviously fall over and that would be gone. So let's see what Sharon's found all the way down there. Yeah, so here you can see, folks, the, um, the Bardney Pop Festival was held on this site in the 1970s. By this time, the farm buildings were derelict and they were almost completely demolished. So they were actually farm buildings, one there. All you can see now, as I say, from what I just saw was that end wall there, which seems to be holding up the main support of it there. And that building at the end there was obviously one of the other farm buildings built in the 1800s, which is now derelict as well. So it says here, back in 1661, Toop Home was sold to the Viner family who built a new house, Toop Loan Hall, about 750 metres to the northeast. Which is, I don't know which way that is, Sharon. No, I don't. Is it that way? I is it that way? That. Or is it that it's way? It's one of them ways. Or is it that <laughs> way, Sharon? We've got four choices, baby. Look at that old tree. Yeah, how old's that tree? Yeah, was but that here got... during all that? Do they show it? Do they show well, it? That's what I was trying to look. Was that it there? That's it there, isn't it? Up see there. tree branches there. That and tree's gone, isn't it? Or is it? No, that's behind it. That would have been behind it, wouldn't it? So yeah, that's that's probably gone. Oh. But there you go, folks. That is Toopholm Abbey. Abbey. And it went from an abbey to a Tudor mansion. From and Tudor then mansion. from Tudor mansion to Toopholm Hall, and then from Toopholm Hall to Abbey Farm. And from Abbey Farm to the to present. the present, which is where you see it now. Yeah. Just stuck in the middle of a field, in the middle of Lincolnshire, now hopefully preserved for prosperity. Mm. I love that word, yeah? For? Get to the car. Come on, baby, let's go. Well, there you go, folks. There's another little journey out for you. I hope you've enjoyed that one. We enjoyed it. A lot warmer than the last time we went out in Scotland, Sharon, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it's still cold, though. And while we're on the subject, we'd just like to say thank you to uh, Caroline Creevy for our super thanks. Thank you very much, Caroline. Very well, uh, much appreciated on that one. And also Mandy Lou, her husband and her sister and her husband. Thank you for our sun cream. That will be packed in my case, ready for the much. 19th and of March. Also, all of you who went over to uh, Tracy and Ben, our daughter and our son-in-law's YouTube channel, which they've done their first YouTube video now, They've had about 3,000 people go over and subscribe to them, Sharon, haven't they? Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, they They're are... working on their next video now. Yep, they're out and about now doing stuff. They're putting up one a week every Wednesday at the moment, so do make sure you do check out their videos. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, pop over there and subscribe. I will leave a link in the uh, video just below. Right, baby, I think it's that time we went home. I need a toilet, I need a wee We wee. was going to have tea tonight, but after that steak and... Uh, 
Barnsley Chops. Mum, my Mike. She, uh, she's not hungry nor am I, so we'll probably go out tonight. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, folks. We'll see you in the next video. We're off to see Rick Astley in concert in Nottingham. Thursday. Thursday. We will take the camera along. Obviously, we won't be able to film any of the concert, but we're there overnight, Sharon, aren't we? Yes, we're overnight in Nottingham. In Nottingham. I think we've got a Premier Inn, so we'll, we'll take you on that little No, journey. we're not in a Premier Inn. What we're are we in? in a plaza. A plaza? How about that? Yes. So we'll take you along for that little journey, and then, obviously, keep tuned to see what we get up to in our life, our day-to-day -day life. And uh, also, we'll be going to Tenerife pretty shortly as well, at the end of... 19th of March. Not that I'm counting. March. You're coming along with us for the ride, so... You're going on holiday as well. Anyway, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And Martin, until then, what? I haven't got enough sun cream for all of them. Oh, they can get their own, Sharon. All oh, right then. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.